Elder Police Officer Crystal Houseward doesn't remember July 29, 2016. I remember waking up and making, um, being told I was in a car accident. Even with no memory of the log truck that slammed into her patrol car in Taylor County. The surgeries and scars are a daily reminder. All the scars I have are on my arms. I broke both my arms. Uh, this is a surgical scar, but these are from the accident and then the ride completely shattered the front of my, or the right side of my face. Her fellow officer, Josh Harris, remembers. He responded to the crash seconds after it happened. Actually, my first response thinking was, that, you know, it. This ain't gonna be good at all. I mean, you know, when I first couple times I was getting get no response, I was like, oh, you know, this is worse than I thought it was. The nearest hospital with a level one trauma center equipped to deal with Crystal's injuries was almost 50 miles away in Macon. Crystal's best chance of survival was in the hands of Nisa Hathaway and her Air Methods flight crew. With trauma patients, you really want them to definitive care within about the first hour, and it's often called the golden hour. Hathaway is a flight nurse on an air ambulance helicopter. She was on the chopper that flew Crystal to Macon. So was Dale Farmer. And we get there about one third of the time from ground transport in and around Atlanta or Macon sometimes, I guess. Um, we, it's actually shorter than that. You know, that speed can mean the difference between life and death when you live in a rural county like Crystal, miles away from a level one trauma center like the one at Navison Health in Macon. Check it out. You have level one trauma centers in Savannah, Augusta, two in Atlanta, and at Navison Health in Macon. That means everyone from Macon south, almost 80 counties, have to go to Macon to access a level one trauma center. So if you think about the geography of the state, there's really nothing from Macon all the way down to the Florida border. And then it's not just trauma care, it's people who need cardiac care, um, Navicent is a chest pain center, has a cath lab that's available 24-7, and um, it is a stroke center as well, so we can take uh, patients who are having strokes there. According to Hathaway, Navicent Health in Macon saw 3,200 trauma calls in 2016. About 40% of those came from outside the county surrounding the hospital. Officer Crystal Housewart was one of those calls. Hathaway doesn't usually get to follow up with the people she helps, but nine months after Crystal's accident, someone else in Taylor County needed to get to the hospital by air. And Crystal was there, clearing the scene for the air ambulance to land, thanks to her own helicopter ride. I got out of the helicopter and saw her. I was really surprised, and I said to her, I just had a brief few seconds before I jumped into the ambulance to take care of this patient. And I said to her, I'm so glad to see you back on duty. And um, that was a really great moment for me. Eric Mock. WGXA News.